all right guys welcome back to the channel if you're new to my channel welcome glad to have you all right so today's video I'm gonna be getting down and dirty today guys today is oil change day so yes I'm gonna be getting greasy y'all see that over there I bought me some oil at Walmart last night got my filters over here and by the way shout out to my guy Owen at Peterbilt man listen as an owner operator you know it's very important that you have good working relationship with people Owen is a very important guy to me man I've been rocking with Owen for the last seven years you know I'm up in Connecticut right now you know I don't live here anymore you know but nothing changes with the relationship I have with people up here you know so Owen is still my go-to guy whenever I need parts or anything from Peterbilt you know, or something as simple as I need a part number, you know, because a lot of times, you know, when you call these dealerships, and you're asking for a part number, they don't want to give it to you. They have an attitude because why? They know you're not purchasing the part from them. You just want a part number so you can go buy it somewhere else. But Owen is my guy, man, regardless what it is, if I'm buying something or if I just need a part number, you know, or if I need some information on something, Owen is my go-to guy. I could send him a text or I could call his cell phone. He's going to get back to me. So, Owen, appreciate this hat, man. You know, I went to go buy some filters from Owen. Actually, I bought this filter because I was missing this one. I had these two already. So, I needed a water separator. Check my bag, and sure enough, there was this beautiful hat from Peterbilt. So, Owen, appreciate you. So, after I'm finished with the oil change, I'm going to head over to Barnwell Tires right here in Bloomfield, Connecticut. And I'm going to see my guy, John. John has been my go-to guy for tires for the last six, seven years. You know, we have a great working relationship. You know, whenever I need tires, even though I live in North Carolina now, I still call John and let him know, hey, John, I'm passing through. I need some tires. So I need two new steer tires. I got a bad alignment, so it's kind of eating away at my steer tires. So hopefully um, I'm going to be able to get an alignment done today. I'm not going to put the tires on right away. I'm just going to get them, throw them in the back of my trailer. And I'm hoping to bring the truck to get an alignment and wherever I bring it to, I'm going to do an alignment and put the tires on at the same time because I don't want to put the new steer tires on and uh, start eating away because I do have a bad alignment, like I said. So yeah, those are the three projects I'm trying to accomplish today. So right now I'm parked up on the side of the road. I'm going to drop my trailer and I'm going to head across the street there. My boy truck yard is across the street park his dump trucks back there i can't fit my trailer back there but um i'm gonna drop my trailer um uh, lock the kingpin because people are crazy these days never know and um yeah i'll be back there for about an hour two hours maybe right now it's uh about 9 40 so i'm hoping to get this oil chain done by 11 o'clock and head over to see my guy john get them tires and hopefully i'll be able to get an alignment done today so that's the plan about Connecticut by the way this is what I miss the most man the beautiful scenery in the fall all right guys so there it is time to get busy and make it do what it do this is how you separate yourself from the rest you know So here it is guys, y'all always ask me about the motor, 6NZ C15 CAT, 
nice and dry just the way I like it I have one little spot right here where it's sweating from and I actually have the o-rings in the truck so I'm gonna change this today while I'm doing the oil change you know I just gotta remove these two bolts there's two o-rings back there and I'm gonna change this this is as bad as it gets by the way it doesn't drip it's just sweating so I'm gonna take care of it today though so here is side B turbo side um, I've got a 78 millimeter turbo by AirTech. You know, in case y'all want the part number on it. There it is. Alright, and um, this is a full tilt manifold. It was ceramic at one point, but uh, as y'all can see, it's no longer ceramic. So I'm either going to get it recoded because it is a great manifold. Uh, you know, this is a very good manifold. So I'm either going to get it recoded or I'm going to just replace it. You know, I bought this from Rainey's back in 2018. And about two years later, it started to rust. So at that point, it was no longer on the warranty. So they weren't able to swap it out. But it is a good manifold. So if you can look beyond the rust on it, you know, very good manifold. Can't let y'all see the code, but I told y'all I got access to the shed. Gonna need this right here. And if you don't have one of these, you're doing yourself an injustice. You know, a couple of years ago, I had a regular oil plug on here. And um, I went to the Speedco in Commerce, Georgia, and they completely stripped it out, so I had to get a new oil pan. Um, so ever since, I installed one of these, and uh, it makes a world of a difference. That should do it. Um, that's going to be my last drain. That's going to take a while. I'm probably leave that for about 10, 15 minutes and just let everything drain out. And also, if you notice, I put the cardboard down. I put the bucket on the cardboard. You know, just in case I had an accident and it spilled, you know, it would just spill on the cardboard. It wouldn't spill onto the pavement. Now guys, this right here, this is my coolant filter. You know, unlike your oil filter and your fuel filter, you don't have to change this every single time you do an oil change. You know, you don't have to do this every time you do a PM, but you definitely want to change this a couple of times throughout the year. You know, I'll probably change this maybe two or three times for the year. Just a little bit of rust from the top of the filter, but other than that, 
I don't see nothing too crazy. Normally, if it's real bad, if it's clogged up, you're going to see a whole bunch of gunk and stuff at the top right here. So, it doesn't look too bad, but I'm going to change it anyways. And you don't have to add coolant to this because once I turn these lines back on, the coolant is going to flow right through. So I'll give you an example right now. If I was to just release this, in a minute you will see a bunch of coolant coming out. See that? So yeah, you don't have to fill this up. Once you open up the lines, that's just going to fill right back up. And don't over tighten this because trust me, if you over tighten this filter, good luck trying to get it off. Alright guys, so all the oil is drained, so now let's move on to the fuel side. So this is my water separator. Listen guys, this is not coolant, this is diesel. If I'm on the road and I'm in a jam, you know, I gotta change my fuel filters, they're clogged up. Always keep a gallon of diesel in your truck. And as you notice, I marked the X on both sides, just so it doesn't get mixed up with um, coolant. You know, the last thing you wanna do is pour coolant in your fuel filters or pour diesel in your coolant reservoir. And I guarantee you, there's going to be somebody in the comment section telling me I shouldn't put fuel in my fuel filter before I put them on, or I shouldn't put oil in the oil filter before I put it on. This is the way I've always done it, and this is the way I'm going to continue to do it. With these fuel filters, you don't want to use this to tighten it. All you need is your hand. Just once it gets tight, just a couple more turns, hand tighten, and you're good to go. Because as they build pressure, they're going to get tighter over time. All right, so that's it for the fuel side. Listen guys, I've even seen a video from one of my favorite cat guys on YouTube, you know, where he doesn't put oil in the oil filter before you put it on. But I'm still not sold, man. I'm still not convinced, so this is my way of doing it. I'm always going to pour oil into the filters first. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to... Um, grease the truck today because I just talked to my guy that does my alignment in Connecticut and he said I got to get there by 2 o'clock it's about 12 o'clock right now and it's about 30 minutes away so I've got to return all this used oil to AutoZone and after I finish I got to head down to get the alignment done and I'm going to try to make it back before 5 o'clock to get my tires for my tire guy if not, I gotta stick around till tomorrow, and I didn't wanna stick around. I took yesterday off, and uh, took today off, so I don't wanna take three days off. Well, yesterday I delivered a load, and I just took the rest of the day off after I finished delivering the load. Today I just took the day off altogether. Because 
you know these are the important things you got to take care of you know you can't neglect the truck man you know your PM is one of the most important part of your motor you know you got to take care of that motor man I haven't been to the shop in over a year and a half with any major problems at all the last major problem I had I took care of it myself right here in front of you that's oil cooler I had a bad oil cooler and I changed that bad boy on the side of the road yeah man we get it in out here Like I said before guys, all you need to do is just hand tighten these filters. You don't need a filter wrench to tighten it because you're going to over tighten it and when it's time to take it off, you won't be able to. So listen, if you're an aspiring owner operator, and if you're somebody who's curious about trucking, you found the right channel. So don't delay, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications. So my videos drop, you know, right away. This is what you can expect over here, you know. I do a little bit of everything, man. I don't just drive, you know. I get down and dirty on my days off. One of the best things I've ever done was replace my original oil fill cap with this PDI setup. And no, this is not a sponsored video from PDI. But this right here, as you can see, I had to screw it off and it's got a little lock in it. But the original oil fill kept, kept blowing off. You know, the one with the chain, that thing is rubbish. So yeah, we don't have that problem anymore. I was out in Texas a few years ago and I stopped in at one of, one of those PDI dealerships and I replaced it right in the parking lot. full mark so I'm gonna fire it up and I'll check my oil pressure we should be good to go I'm gonna leave a little room because normally I add a bottle of Lucas, uh, but I, I forgot to purchase one, so I'm gonna leave a little room just to add a gallon of Lucas. So 
So a gallon less shouldn't bother it. It's still going to be in the operational range. That's perfect. So here comes the magical question. Where do you dump the oil when you're finished? Well, it's actually pretty simple. You bring it to AutoZone, and AutoZone will dump it for you. require a little bit of work and about two hours out of my day sure it does but at least I know it was done correctly you know some little high schooler fresh out of technical school didn't change my oil and forget to tighten my oil pan drain plug all the way and now all my oil leaked out while I'm going down the road now I've got a blown motor that's gonna cost me about fifty thousand dollars to repair you know so it's the little things in trucking man you know you learn as you go along and you save money as you go along all right y'all so there it is you know get these bottles nice and cleaned up so we don't make a mess when we take it back to auto zone so no need to call the epa we do things right over here and as for the filters these are completely drained so I just throw these in a the trash bag and this is metal so we recycle it. And I'm just gonna double up this trash bag so it doesn't break. That's how we roll. That's everything right there. This is my diesel right here, so I'm gonna put this back in my storage. So guys, I'm about to get the alignment done right now. guys it checks out it's not even a bad alignment I have a bad kingpin so I've got to bring it back next week and my guy Frank gonna take care of me and uh do my kingpin next week so that's what's going on right now
So I'm at AutoZone. I came to get rid of the used oil. You know, and just about every single AutoZone will do this. You know, I just drove my truck up here and I'm about to go dump the used oil. So the oil gets recycled and the bottles, empty bottles goes into the recycle. That's how we do it. One of these days, I'm gonna shine her up, I'm gonna clean her up inside, outside, and I'm gonna give you guys a full tour. All right, y'all, so today's Saturday. I'm still in Connecticut. I actually started recording this video on Thursday. But as you guys saw towards the end of the video, started raining like crazy on Thursday. On Friday, I ran a little short trip from New Jersey. I had two stops. First stop was in Springfield, Massachusetts. Second stop was in Newington, Connecticut. And then I just shut it down for the weekend. Uh, on Monday, I want to get the truck back in the shop. Um, I want to have my kingpins done. Like I told you guys, I thought I had a bad alignment. But it's actually not my alignment. The kingpins are bad. So, yeah, big job on Monday. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to get it back on Tuesday. And then I'm going to hit the road and head south. So listen, guys, man, I, I just want to say this to y'all real quick. To all my subscribers, everybody that's tuning into the channel, listen, I greatly appreciate all your love and all your support. You know, sometimes I read your comments, man, and it really warms my heart, you know. This is just what happens, man, when you put God first. You know, I've been on YouTube for four months, and what I've accomplished in four months, some don't accomplish in four years. You know, here we are. Almost four months in, almost 100,000 subscribers, over 55 million channel views, you know. I'm grateful and I'm thankful. You know, so guys, if you made it towards the end of this video, just drop your feedbacks in the comment section. Show some love. Um, and I'm definitely looking forward, man. I'm really looking forward to start pumping out content, man, you know. The response I've been getting from you guys, man, I feel like I'm cheating you guys by not uploading at least once or twice a week, you know. So I'm going to try my best to start, like, really, really pumping out content, you know. So, like, I started this video two days ago, and I'm just finishing up, and I have no excuse, you know. I've I had plenty of time to get it done. So, guys, I apologize in the delay of getting the videos out to you. And by the way, I can see a reflection of myself right now and before you even ask me no i'm not high my eyes are naturally small this is the widest my eyes get by the way and the reflection from the light is kind of bothering my eyes so no i don't smoke i'm not high somebody's gonna ask i don't smoke i actually don't even consume alcohol anymore I haven't drank in almost three years you know so no i don't smoke don't ask me i don't smoke so yeah guys listen man um if you're not subscribed to my channel, if this is your first time watching, please hit that subscribe button. You won't be disappointed. Um, to all my loyal subscribers, listen, guys, I appreciate all the love, all the support. You know, to, um, to that guy checking in from in the Fiji, he's living in Australia now, but you, you're from Fiji, man. That's crazy. Like, people from all over the world. That guy from Ireland that checked in today, um, uh, India. You know, so many different places, places I didn't even know my videos reached. You know, I'm grateful and I'm thankful, you know, for to each and every one of you, everybody that supports my content. You know, guys, I really appreciate it. So, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up and I'm going to try my best. As soon as I get my truck back on Tuesday, I'm going to get busy and start recording some content. You know, I don't even need my truck to do content, to be honest with you. You know, I have so much stuff 
in my storage right now. You know, I could just start unloading content. But guys, listen, you know, a lot of the content that's in my storage right now, I can't even post it no more because, you know, I make mention of things like the amount of followers. I mean, sorry, the amount of subscribers. You know, in one of those videos, I believe I talked about reaching 15,000 subscribers. Here we are, not even a month later, almost 100,000. You know, like, man, God is awesome. That's all I can say. So, guys, listen, man, love y'all. Appreciate each and every one of you. And, guys, I'll catch y'all on the next video. All right? Peace out.